Hi everyone, this is Bruce Cohen, board certified in immigration law, and uh, coming to you today from my Houston office, where I, I actually keep a Bible here in my office, and with good reason, as we've seen, the Attorney General of the United States makes references to the Bible, and I always like making reference to the Bible when it deals with immigrants and when it deals with widows, because there's a lot in the Bible about immigrants and widows. But in particular, I'm looking here at Leviticus, and um, here it actually talks about immigrants. It says that when an immigrant dwells among you in your land, do not taunt him. The immigrant who dwells with you shall be like a native among you, and you shall love him like yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am your God. That's the word of God. I think the Attorney General might have had it wrong when he was saying that the Bible supports separating children from their parents as punishment or to deter immigrants from crossing our borders. But in any event, a lot of my friends have asked me to comment on this story that's been in the news lately. And, uh, and I've been telling them this is all going to be over within 10 days. And it certainly looks like that's what's going to be happening because it's an absolutely crazy policy that our government is engaging in and really has no support in the law. In fact, it was a situation created by our government. So here's how it works. For years, for decades, people have been arriving at our shores, at our borders, by foot, by boat, by plane, asking for asylum because of harsh conditions back in their country. And we have laws about that. And so historically, and even more recently, on our southern border where people have been trying to come into the United States and apply for political asylum, what has our government done? They process these people in what they call detention centers, also known as jails, and then they release them. But before they just release them, free to go, they give them a court paper telling them where and when they're supposed to appear in court. And they also, and the uh, individual who got arrested for entering illegally or for applying for asylum, they provide a forwarding address. Where do they plan to go? Who do they plan to live with? So the government has a way of communicating with them. More recently, the government's put ankle bracelets on them so the government can find them in case they choose to abscond. So that's the way it's always been for decades. This is the way it's been. And if a person gets involved in the asylum process, they get prosecuted civilly through deportation court. Some call it immigration court. And that's the way that our country has been operating for many, many years. Now, separate and apart from immigration, we have criminal laws. Like, what if somebody gets arrested for murder and they happen to have children? Well, you all know what happens. The person goes to jail accused of murder, and then typically the state has all these laws where they take care of the children of the accused murderer, right? Well, asylum is not a criminal proceeding, it's a civil proceeding. And so those rules have never applied. And historically, the families have always stayed together, even if it's in a detention. Now, what has the current government been doing? Under the Trump administration, they have decided that they will criminally prosecute these people who are coming in and applying for asylum from their country. And by criminally prosecuting them, those same asylum applicants or refugees, they're now becoming accused criminals like the murderer. And that's what the government is using to justify taking the children away from them. The same way that the state would watch over the children when the parent is accused of murder. Or in those cases, sometimes the children will go to a family relative. But in these cases, the state or the federal government is taking the children away the same way as if the person was an accused murderer, which of course they're not. And the government has set up this situation um, and has dug themselves into this hole on their own because they decided to choose these, to charge these people criminally instead of prosecuting them as they've done for decades through the civil deportation process. So instead of putting them in deportation where they can get them out of the country, if ultimately that's what the government wants to do, instead they're charging them with crimes, and as a result, putting them in prison here in the U.S. and keeping them here 
rather than going through the normal deportation process. And that's how this whole problem arose. Of course, the American public is not putting up with this sort of thing. The, the vast majority of Americans say it's un-American to be taking children away from their parents the way the government is currently doing it at the border. And so my prediction is within the next 10 days, that policy will be gone and we'll be back to the way it's always been pre-Trump administration, which is prosecute these people civilly through deportation court and stop tearing the children away from their parents.